Well, it is hard to believe that it's almost <laughs> late August, September, start the end of next week. But farmers have been thinking about it, especially those with pumpkins. And Channel 2's Jennifer Stanonis went to the farm in the, the southern tier today where they explained the process of growing pumpkins. We're all still thinking summer, but pumpkin farmers are already thinking fall, especially since the window for pollinating pumpkins is coming to an end, which is today for this farm in Great Valley. We could see the bees that are working here. Dan Palowski is the owner of Pumpkinville and spent time today talking with us about the unique process of pumpkin pollination. Like, did you know there's a male and female pumpkin blossom? Now this is a male blossom, and as you can see, the stigma right there, that's, uh, that's just the one item and this, the female, she has the whole area there. Bees move the pollen from the male blossom to the female to pollinate it. And there's only a short window for this to happen. This female opened today, that's it. She closes up. This male, he'll open every day for two weeks until he's done. But the female, you only get one morning to pollinate a female. Once pollinated, the pumpkin grows. That pumpkin's 10 days old. And only from the female blossom. You have the green pumpkin at the base, the little pumpkin, or if it's a squash or a gourd or anything like that, your fruit is right at the base of that female pumpkin. And on a male pumpkin, there is none. Pumpkin pollination began in late July and is now wrapping up so that the pumpkins will be ready for harvest to begin as early as September. In Great Valley, Jennifer's Denonis, Channel 2 News.